Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is me Kate and I'm back with another tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use v.io for any beginner user. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. v.io is an online based video editing tool where you can edit any kind of video. If you are on your desktop, open any web browser that you are comfortable with and then search v.io on URL and then search for it. After that, you will be loaded to this interface as you can see on this screen. Now, click on start for free option or else you can also use v.io with a subscription as well. For now, we will go with start for free. Once you click there, now we are ready to start start editing our project uh, so this will be the interface for v.io where we can edit any kind of video first of all we have to upload a file or upload a video that you want to edit click on upload a file and select the file that you want to edit i have this video right here and i will upload this video here at the top of this screen here you will see your video that is being currently uploaded once your video is uploaded you will be able to see this timeline at the bottom of your screen if you want to resize simply drag your mouse right here and then you will see this arrow and then hold the mouse and drag up in this way you can just resize your timeline and then this will be your video and at the left side of your screen you will see multiple menus such as search settings media record audio subtitles text elements we will come with that after and in the top right corner of your screen you will see a don or else you can also sign up or log into this v.io account now moving towards our editing process here at the left side of your screen you will see a menu that says search if you tap on search you can search for anything on this v.io and just below that you will see in settings option where you will be able to custom the size of your project or you can resize for social media such as instagram tiktok or facebook and then also you can change the color to any color that you want and in this audio section you can add voice translation in multi languages and then also you can remove any background noise and again coming down to duration you can also set a duration to your project and in here you can also set frames per second in this section right here when you are done with this again we will go to media and in this media section you will be able to upload a file and then record or you can use text to speech features or voice clone and all going to record when you click on this record option you can record through this v.io using camera or audio or screen or camera and screen both or slides in camera or slides only so v provides you all these features and now again audio menu if you click on there uh, you will be able to add text to speech or voice clone or voice over more or else you can also add music to your project such as uh, if you click on this add option right here you this music will be uploaded to your project so in this way this music has already been added to your timeline as you can see right here if you want to edit this audio simply click on this audio and then this settings will appear where you can increase its speed you can increase its volume you can use fade in fade out or translate the voice and you can also remove the background as well after you are done with audio again going to subtitles here you will be able to uh, add subtitle to your video once you are done with subtitles again heading towards text when you click on text you will be able to add any type of text to your projects so let's say i want to add a text to this right here now in order to add any text here at the left side of your screen you will see an empty box where you can add any text here type and this text right here will be added to your video now in order to edit this text here at the left side of your screen or you will be able to edit its style change it to any style that you want you can resize its font size suppose i want to go with 24 px and then and in this way you can also change the color of your text if you want to drag this text to wherever you want simply hold the mouse pointer and then the drag to where you want it to be once you're done with that you can also add animation to your word or and add any kind of effect similar with that you can set duration to your text by setting up the starter and end timer right here and this is how text in vid works after that moving towards element and in elements you can add any kind of elements to your video suppose i'm going with this one right here if i click on this you can see an element has been added to your video similar with the text you can drag it anywhere you want it to be suppose i'm dragging it right here and then by dragging right here you can resize its shape as well 
same with the text you can also add animation to your element such as zoom in fade let me go with zoom in once i click on there an effect has been added to our element you can also say duration to your element as well and there are more effects as well you can try that out once you're done with elements now going towards template there are multiple templates that you can try and add to your video as well and at transition you can apply various kind of transition to your videos as you can see and i'm going with this one right here you can simply drag this wherever you want it to be suppose i want it to be at the end of this video i will click on there and, and at the end i will notice the transition and similar with that heading towards filter and in filters you will be able to apply various kind of filter to your videos and once you're done with this we have added elements text audio to our videos and now talking about the timeline you can use various features such as split or add media for that let's say we have to cut this music to sync with our video you have to drag this vertical line where you want to split your audio once you drag this vertical where you want to split and then if you click on this split option your audio will get split into two parts and now you can simply delete this by pressing backspace key on your keyboard and similar with the sound wave you can also split the sound wave click on sound wave and then again click on split and in here this has been split again you can delete this by pressing backspace key on your keyboard once you're done with that we are done with splitting our audio audio and then sound and then you can play your project from the beginning and see how you have edited so this is how you can use V to create your project after you're done editing your project in order to export click on this done option from the top right corner of your screen and then simply tap on export video and your videos will be exported wait until it get exported I hope this video helped you and if you are new to our channel do not forget to subscribe like and hit the notification bell icon and stay tuned for more upcoming tutorials thank you for watching till the end i will see you on next video